Hello, everybody, and happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We're gonna Mayo. have a fiesta. Ay, ay. Ay, ay. Nobody does that. No, except for us. It's more like the. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's how it's done. That's mm. called. Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. I'm cooking. That's and called burning stuff. Cooking and partying at the same time. Anyways, Baby J. She's, She's sleeping. passed out. I, the reason why I'm holding her in the carrier and cooking is because I'm trying to prevent flathead syndrome. Syndrome. <laughs> um, anyways, so we're having a fiesta because it's Cinco de Mayo and mm -hmm. I love any reason to party. And make Mexican food. And yes, Mexican food is my favorite food of the years. Mm -hmm. Is it mine? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's like a toss up between like Japanese food Italian food, I feel like Italian food is probably like the world's favorite, world favorite. But uh, but Mexican food is definitely up there. Now it depends on what your tastes are and what you consider Mexican food. Okay. Anyways, so. Am I cutting this? <laughs> yes. Okay. Please. Oh, wash it, please. Wash it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Luna is here with us, hanging out because honestly, she follows us everywhere. Well. She follows me everywhere, Not so me. I might as well just have her in the video so you can see her hanging out with us mm -hmm. instead of at my feet because then she's going to get stepped on and get yelled at, so it's better to just have her <laughs> sitting here. And look, she's such a gold girl. This is another such reason why girl. you need a golden doodle in your life because mm -hmm. they are such good dogs. You can literally have her sit with you in the kitchen. Can dogs eat tomatoes? Um, I don't know. You might want to Google that. But I did, I already cooked the ground beef for our tacos and our nachos, but I put a little unseasoned ground beef for Lynette to the side so that way oh. she can celebrate. Yeah, um, that's nice. Dice those, please. Yes, okay. ma'am. Oh, you're, cu you're cutting them very small. So, mm -hmm. I bet you don't really see too many husbands and wives in the kitchen at the same time, do you? <gasps> Well, we cook together sometimes. Ooh, it's getting smoky the in here. Kitchens are normally too Ooh, small. I burnt that one. All right, let's get rid of that tortilla. Oh, that one's not burnt. Uh, it's burnt. I totally would have eaten that one. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's probably that's why nice we're still here. married because he eats my food no matter what. Yep, even um, if it's burnt, because at least she tries. You know, if it, if it's made with love, it automatically oh tastes better. Oh my gosh, why are you like trying to like win husband of the year right now? It was already mine to begin with. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. And um I wonder what I'm gonna get you. I know. Huh. I've been seeing it's like my a first few Mother's things. Day guy. I can't believe I'm a mother. I mean, I was a mother to Luna first. I really do claim Luna as my first baby. Yep. And Jordan is my second baby. It's Jordan's big sister. Yeah, that's her big sis, for sure. So, anyways, Luna didn't give me anything for Mother's Day last year. Rude. But I'll give I'll give her a break. Um, this year, Luna, Loki, and Jordan better give me something for Mother's Day. Dang. <laughs> what she means is Michael better get me something from everyone. Well, yeah, I think individually. I think I think everybody knows that. Yeah. I think that's a given. Woo! It's getting smoky in here. All right, so we have this little exhaust thing, but it doesn't work. It's um, a charcoal filter that doesn't filter anything. <laughs> like I don't know what's the point of this thing, cause like it, there's no vent to the outside. No so. vent. It's the world's biggest scam. That's why we have the door open. Yeah, we have the door open. It does feel good outside. Though, uh, so. it's kind of humid today, right? A little bit, but it, like, it, uh, it actually cooled down a little bit like on the way home. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been having the windows open lately. That's good. It's pretty nice. So we're having salmon tacos and beef nachos for dinner. And the reason why we're having salmon, probably never had salmon tacos. A lot of people haven't had salmon tacos. However, Man. we have salmon Man. tacos a lot. Me, and this not one, a lot, not enough. Well, we usually have salmon tacos that I just created on my own from Costco. They have this seasoned, already like marinated um, salmon that is in the frozen section that I usually just like bake. And then we use it as like the meat and we put like cilantro and onions and stuff on top. And it's so good. So this is our first time having this particular 
salmon, but salmon is really healthy for you. It took me like 30 something years to eat salmon. Develop the taste for it? Yeah. Um, because I'm kind of a picky eater. I'm going to go ahead and start preparing the nachos while Michael is doing that. And I'm going to use this cheese. If you have not tried this queso mama, white queso, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's from Costco. It's so bad for you. Oh my gosh, Michael loves it too. It has <laughs> green lie. chili flavor, so good. And then, oh, we're gonna have elote, which is canned corn. I don't like mayonnaise, so I don't put mayonnaise on it. I'm just gonna put butter, Parmesan cheese, and maybe like a little bit of hot sauce. Easy, easy. But I wanted to ask you and ask everybody else out there if they know the corn man. The corn man? Yeah. Who's the corn man? The guy who walks through the neighborhoods and honks the horn and he oh. sells elote. This is how you know if you live in the barrio. The barrio. Barrio. It's the Mexican, where a lot of Mexican people live. So I was driving yesterday to go take my Amazon return, and I saw the corn man down the street. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have a corn man in our neighborhood. Wait, in our neighborhood? Yeah. Wait, this way? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, he was honking his little horn, and I was very tempted to stop and get some corn you should. for him. I thought he had like Takis and stuff on his cart. I was like, okay. Oh God! That's but, what I say every time I pass by a Somali lady. Oh yeah? Oh, that looks yeah. so good. Oh my gosh. I'm like blackening it. Yeah. Just don't overcook it, right? No, I mean, I still got three more minutes. Okay. I got the organic corn chips from Whole Foods. Well, now you want to come back in the party? There you go. Good job. And a girl. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Alright, so I have my chips and we're going to put some cheese and I'm probably going to throw this under the broiler. The plan is, is we're going to have our little fiesta, we're going to eat, and then me and Luna are going to head over to the truck yard. Daddy's gonna stay home with baby Jay. And me and Luna are gonna go check out the festivities at this place called the truck yard. So let's, that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> that'll be talk. fun. Ugh. So I've never been there before, but they are having a Chihuahua doggy race. <laughs> and I really wanna see this happen, so. Here, do you put more, you put beans and meat on it okay. while I do this. We're like switching back and forth. Look at, we are being such a good team right now. We're guys. interchangeable. We are, we are doing great. This kitchen is freaking small too. So like the fact that we're both in here. And, and Luna. And Luna and Baby J. And Baby J. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna more put like baby. Hey. this butter. I just put butter on the corn. Now I'm putting it in the microwave to heat it up. The uh, guy that I work with, uh, so he makes uh, a fruit and vegetable smoothie every morning that he's at work. And so he has like this little 20 ounce blender that he blends it with. Um, but today he literally made a homemade salsa and guacamole. Oh wow. In his little blender. To be like all festive? Yeah, and he's, and I'm just like, that's kind of funny that you're, uh, you're doing all this? He's like, it's Cinco de Mayo. And I'm like, okay. You're like, yeah, my wife told me to get ready for the party after work. No. Huh? Remember I told you there's gonna be a party tonight. You told me there's gonna be a party? Yeah, on the, the note I left for you this morning. <laughs> did you say that? Yes, I did. Happy Cinco de Mayo, mi amor. I, I, I don't know why she keeps saying I, I. Don't forget about our fiesta en el noche. What does that mean? Tonight. En el noche means tonight? Noche means tonight. Does it? Yeah. I thought en el means in the night. Yeah, in the or night. 
in the night. <laughs> Don't forget about our party in the night. It's not a literal translation. <laughs> If you don't know, now you know. Also, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite things. I could literally it's, it's so good. Yeah. put this stuff on anything. I mean, I like the hot one. This is a Taco Bell sauce. You know, they sell it in the yeah. store. Which I should just go to Taco Bell and steal a bunch of packages. Because do you know that this freaking thing costs like $4? We go through that stuff fast. Yeah. We put that stuff on everything. She's not lying. So I put that stuff on my vitamins. No, you don't. I put it on my toothbrush. Anyways, I'm putting it on our elote. I put it on my loofah. So, it should taste good. I put it in the essential oil diffuser. Elotes. Finish. Elotes. Elohe. How you doing, little girl? Away. How you doing? How's my Luna girl? Chill. Hey, I think we're almost done. So the thing that's going to go on the nachos last is I have some sliced jalapenos for me. I also like a little bit of diced tomatoes, which Michael doesn't really care for. I like them diced. It's when they're big, solid chunks yeah. that offend me. <laughs> they straight up are offensive to my senses. And with some cilantro and a little bit of red onion if you want to dice up the red onion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we have our tacos. And for our tacos, we'll probably just put a little bit of red onion and cilantro on top. Hope you guys are all having your own party, drinking some Coronas, Cervezas. some Modelos, some tequila, like whatever kind of Mexican beer you have. I am not drinking because I breastfeed, but I do have like one drink occasionally. I think I'll have a drink. I don't normally drink. I don't normally drink. What, what are you going to drink? Um, what, do we have any beers? <laughs> There's no more beers? We do. Onions and cilantro. Orale cilantro. <laughs> gimme, gimme taco. So what's that one song um, with the, my boyfriend? Uh-huh. It's, it's like my boyfriend song. My like, boyfriend's no. back and he's gonna... Uh, no, not that. Hey, oh my gosh. Yeah, hey, hey, we gotta put yeah. this in the oven. My boyfriend. Well, I gotta put the... Onion no, on. that can go on afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. What song are you talking about? Oh, you know your little Hispanic song? Like your little Mexican song? Like... You're only talking about one song. My little Mexican song, she calls it. <laughs> Are you talking about the no no senor? Is yeah. <laughs> Don't drop those uh Just drop those chones, baby. No no senor. Just give me that love, baby. You call it the boyfriend song. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop those chones, baby. No no senor. <laughs> Just give me that love, baby. No no senor. Okay, now we have to like Google the song really. Quick. If you don't know, now you know. Okay, chones means what? Undies. <laughs> so the song so is saying, saying, Give me that loving, baby. Give me that loving, baby. Just drop them chones, baby. If you like our video, give it a thumbs up and even subscribe. <laughs> She's all, <laughs> Knock, knock, send you. Baby J says, Subscribe. So that mama can keep making videos since she doesn't have a job. <laughs> oh, baby girl, we're gonna have to start pimping you out. <laughs> yeah, so Luna's gonna get pimped out soon. She, I mean, maybe in a year. That's our plan is for maybe her to have a year. baby. Yeah. Or seven what or ten or whatever, least. however many babies. Um, but we need to find the right baby daddy first. And also, <laughs> we need to have a house <laughs> because we need a yard for these puppies to be in so anyways we're about we're to eat. we're almost done right food's almost done uh-huh okay how you doing luna i got your hamburger meat oh my god how's that look oh it looks fabulous it's not burnt no looks great so just top that stuff can you put some jalapeno poppers peppers <laughs> on my side Sure. And Luna girl. <gasps> Happy Cinco de Mayo! Ay, 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 ay. It's just ground beef though. It's nothing. You could have put some corn in it. Special treat for her. Good. Oh, good job, Luna. I hope you enjoyed your ground beef. 
Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> baby down in the swing and enjoy our food. So we're going to the truck yard to finish off our Cinco de Mayo celebration. Just me and Luna. We're going to have a mommy doggy date. Just the two of us, which I feel like is long overdue um, because ever since we had Jordan, baby J, um, Luna has kind of got Okay, she's second place now. Let's just... Let's Hazard just... ahead on SH360 and in a quarter mile. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> so, Luna is obviously not number one anymore. And, you know, like I was saying earlier when we were cooking, is that Luna really is like my first baby. And part of the reason why, um, you know, she's like my baby is because she's just with me all the time. Like, she follows me everywhere in the house, everywhere I go. Um, I could literally, like, just walk two steps in, you know, one direction, and then here she is, like, following me. And I just feel so bad because it's, like, the baby is just always in my hands, and, like, when I'm not feeding the baby or changing the baby or doing whatever for Jordan, Luna is just, you know, like, I'll be holding Jordan, feeding her and Luna comes up with her toy in her mouth and I'm just like oh my gosh poor baby Luna I can't play tug with you right now because I'm holding the baby so I'll try playing tug with her a little bit but yeah she her and I need some quality alone time just her mommy and Luna that's right huh give mommy kisses to the girl good kiss give me a kiss Luna give me a kiss Oh, that's right. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, my goal is at home with Jordan. And let me just say, like, I love my husband so much. He is so good with her. I have to work at getting out of the house. And part of this journey with YouTube even is just for me to, like, get out of the house and, like, get Luna out of the house because she deserves to get out of the house and she deserves to go be a social animal, which she is. And she's such a good dog. Once again, like I love this dog so much. We're here at the truck yard. This is so cool. So this is the entrance. Luna, you want to show everybody where we're at? Luna, show everybody where we are. Let's go this way. Come on, Luna. Cinco de Mayo party, Thursday. <laughs> Small dog race at 6.30. Look at all these cars. Luna, look at the cars. We're going to start on six car races. So, I will see you in about 15 minutes. You hold your dogs. And then have somebody at the finish line to coach your baby through that finish line. I got treats over here if it helps. So you can use treats. You can use the force, but you can't pick up your dog and cross that finish line, I'm sorry. Remember, this is for $250 here at the truck yard. There's a lot of alcoholics out there. Luna. I like it. <laughs> Did you see the race? Luna! Did you see the race? Luna! 
Jennifer with Luna. It's not me. That's going to be Brenda with Texas. Melody with Diamond. Oh my God. Look so at this girl's outfit. Luna. That's Whitney Jennifer and Luna. Uh -huh. right here. It's Luna and I, Jennifer. Brenda and Melody. Look at this girl's outfit right here. Right there. She is ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. One, two, three, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Good job, Bo. For those of you who can't see what I'm seeing, I got dads with their sons, and I got the mamas here at the finish line. So, get ready. Get your cameras out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, on your mark, get set, let your dogs go, 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 go. The race is getting ready. It's getting hot and heavy. I got Dorito here on my right. Melina here on my left. I got dads on the start. Mama's on the finish line. On the count of three, you're gonna let your dogs go on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, let them go! <laughs> of the venue. It's a really cool place. I'm like 
wanting to come back here ASAP. So cool, so many dogs. Look at those people are sitting in a truck bed. The Daily Dog Mobile Dog Treat Bakery. Every day is dog treat day. Ah. Hi, how are you? Good. Oh, doggy iced latte. What? What's the doggy iced latte? So it's vanilla coconut milk with a little bit of carrot powder to make it look like it's coffee. Oh, okay. With the peanut butter drizzle over ice. Oh, fancy. I wonder if she would drink that. Like, do they usually drink it pretty fast? Or? Yeah, it just kind of depends on the dog. Yeah. So. Hmm, what do you recommend? Uh, as far as treats go, yeah. anything, peanut butter, anything, meat. Those are my biggest sellers. Okay. So for the uh, bark bag, she can choose four flavors here. Yeah, okay. Four for five All right. So Luna chooses <laughs> uh, liver bites. I know she likes liver. Uh, let's do banana, peanut butter drop, and a chicken and cheddar cookie, and uh pumpkin peanut butter scone that sounds good luna does that sound good okay guys this place is officially super cool they have like a few different places to get liquor i am not gonna get a drink today i thought i was oh oh my goodness what is this uh, did you paint your dog <laughs> no. we're here i was like is, is it painted or is that no it's real it's real yeah that's fine Oh my gosh! What kind of dog? Frenchie. Frenchie? Frenchie half white lion, right? White tiger. You painted it. No way. You mix it with the Siberian. Siberian Frenchie. Yeah, dude. Okay, this is it really real? That's real. Oh my gosh! Peel back the hair. It's on the skin. Yeah, I had to walk over because I saw it from far away, and I was like, "No one's there." Close. I was like, "Holy cow!" That's. Well, I was too distracted. My dog found her. Is it a boy or a girl? Yeah, that's so, boy. That's that so is great. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a Frenchie. It'd be weird if that Frenchie was being. <laughs> oh, this place is crazy. All right, look at this. Oh, yeah. It's hilarious, though. So gather round, gather round. Round two is about to begin. Adult pinatas. Te Mex Tex drinks, Texican beer buckets. So much to see. All right, we gotta go, Luna. There's so much excitement going on here, but I would love to stay, but we have to go home because we gotta get back to baby. Did you have fun, Luna? Yeah? <laughs> okay, guys, that was crazy, super fun. I'm sad that I didn't get to stay longer. I'm sad that I didn't get to get a drink. And I'm really sad that, um, yeah, I didn't get to see the end of the doggy races because I really went for the Chihuahua race because I thought, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. This is a one of a kind thing. I've never heard of this before. I have to see this and I didn't get to see who the winner was. I want to go back next year for sure. If we're still living here in Dallas Fort Worth, I love all the dog friendly places here in, da in Dallas Fort Worth. It's awesome. Love, love, love it so much. Um, that place was popping. You saw that. <laughs> I don't even use that word popping, but it was really like, of course, it's Cinco de Mayo and people want any excuse to drink. But I think Luna had fun. She was. I think she's a little overstimulated. There was a lot of people. She was pulling on the leash quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of dogs you saw. And I thought it was really cool how people were coming up and they actually asked like, hey, can I pet your dog? So that's pretty cool. And now I'm just heading home. Luna's just gonna hopefully crash out here in a minute and go to sleep for the rest of the ride home. And we will see you guys next week.